we want to go over to Gwen Graham, who is conceding right now. So we'll take a listen in. Well, first, I love you all too. I love you all too. I love you too. I love you so much. And, and look, obviously this is not the remarks that I was hoping to deliver tonight. Um, but I want to say to everyone in front of me uh, how much I appreciate all your support. This has been an incredible campaign. When we started this race, when we started this race on May 2nd, 2017, I had no idea how much this experience would fill me up with how special the people of Florida are and how special the state of Florida is. So let me say, I, I recently called, I just a few minutes ago spoke to Andrew Gillum and I congratulated him on his victory. And I said to him that um, we, Andrew and I have been friends for a very long time we were friends before this race began. We are friends today, and we will be friends into the future. And I said, now, Andrew, go out and win this damn thing. Because this is too important for the state of Florida. This is too important. This election was never about the candidate. It was always about the importance for the future of the state that we all love and our children, and our public schools, and our environment, and our health care, and our economy. The future of Florida is at stake. But I want to recognize some people on the stage, if it's OK with everyone here. And there's, there's words up here, but I'm not reading these words. Um, first, I want to recognize my husband. to Orlando. I moved to Orlando in March, so he's happy to have me back now. <laughs> uh, I've been living in Orlando. He lives in Tallahassee with our two dogs and one bunny rabbit. Um, so, Steve, thank you for your sacrifices throughout this campaign, and um, I love you very much. Yeah. Now, I want to introduce three of the most important people in my life um, who uh, I am proudest of, and in my life, the fact that I have raised three of the best young people in the world is my greatest accomplishment, is my greatest accomplishment. So, my daughter Sarah, I'm doing this in age, by the way. My daughter Sarah, my son Graham, and my son Mark Ernest. Three incredible, incredible, incredible young people. I may be a little bit biased, but trust me, I'm right. Um, and I'd also like to, rep to recognize my mom and dad. My, my parents think, I agree with you. My, my parents committed so much of their time, energy, effort, and love to this campaign. Uh, and um, for me, one of the greatest gifts, I never thought I was going to run for office. This was not something in my life plan. But in my uh, decision to run for office, I got to hear every day people share with me stories about how much my parents have positively impacted their lives. And what a gift as a daughter for me. So thank you, thank you. And then also, my sisters are here, and again, in age, uh, because they, they wanna make sure everyone knows that I am the much older sister. My sister, Sissy, my sister, Suzanne, and my sister, Kendall, and Suzanne's husband, Tom. So, as I said, I was, I was expecting to give a much different speech tonight. But there are so many people who are involved in this campaign, who care about Florida, who want to make sure that the future for Florida and Floridians is taken care of. 
And now we must all put all of our efforts behind Andrew Gillum and make sure that we do everything we can to have him elected governor on November 6, 2018. To make sure we do everything we can. And I give you my word that whatever Andrew asked of me, I will do, because this election, again, is about Florida, the future of Florida. That's what we were fighting for. It was never about the candidate. It's about the state. So I thank you all so much. Thank you for being along with me on this journey. It has been an incredible experience. And uh, sweetheart, I'm coming home. <laughs> thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're listening live to Gwen Graham there as she gave her concession speech to her crowd there in Orlando tonight.